What is TPRBP? As we all know, it is temperature, pulse, respiration and blood pressure. Together we call it as vital signs. Hi everyone, welcome back to Nursing Guru. So in this video, we are going to talk about the vital signs briefly. So let's get started. So first one is therapeutic purposes. So what is therapeutic purpose? Before giving drug to the patient, you have to measure vital signs. So second one is before perform any kind of diagnostic test. So diagnostic test means some kind of lab test if you are going to perform. Before that, you have to take the vital signs of the patient. And the last one is for gathering the baseline data. So here, what is the baseline data? So baseline data means some kind of general information when you are going to collect from the patient. Before that, you need to take the vital signs. So these are the three main purpose of taking the vital sciences then next we will be seeing temperature so what is temperature so temperature means it is the hotness and coldness of the body it balances in between the heat loss and heat production of our body so what is the normal temperature so the normal temperature of our body is 98.6 degree Fahrenheit and 37 degree Celsius so if it goes down below 37 degree Celsius or 98.6 degree Fahrenheit we call it as hypothermia and if it goes up above 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degree Fahrenheit, we call it as hyperthermia. So there are a few sites of checking the temperature. So these are axilla, rectal, oral and tympanic. So by these four sites, you can check the temperature of the patient by thermometer. So there are a few factors which affect the temperature. These are age, gender, stress, any kind of diseases or any kind of environment. So because of these factors, sometimes temperature can goes up or sometimes temperature can goes down. So this is all about temperature. Then next we will be seeing the pulse. So what is pulse rate? Pulse rate means it is a wave of blood. So from where this wave of blood is coming? So because this wave of blood is happening because of the contraction of left ventricle. So as we all know, left ventricle is situated in our heart. So basically heart rate reflects the pulse rate. So the normal pulse rate will be 60 to 100 beats per minute for an average adult. So if it goes down below 60, we call it as trachycardia. If it goes up above 100, we call it as bradycardia. So there are a few sites of checking the pulse rate. So what are they? These are temporal, then carotid, then apical, then brachial, then radial, then popliteal. It would be under of the thigh. Then the last two is dorsal pedis and posterior libia. So these are the few sites of checking the pulse rate. Now we will be seeing how you can assess the pulse rate. So there are two types of assessing the pulse rate. First one is palpation and the second one is auscultation. So palpation means basically the feeling. So like I have told you, there are few sites. So if you, you will touch the sites by your three fingers, then you will be feeling the pulse rate. So this is called as palpation. Then auscultation means by using the stethoscope. So if you will put the stethoscope on the sides of the pulse rate, you will be feeling the beat or the rhythm of the pulse. So by these two types of assessment, you can assess the pulse rate. Now, there are a few factors which is affecting the pulse rate. These are stress. So if a person will be in stress, their pulse rate sometimes it can goes up, sometimes it can goes down. And then some kind of disease condition. If the person will be having some kind of disease condition like fever, like general disease condition, fever or something, then the person's pulse rate will be high or sometimes it can be low. The next one is gender. So male will be having higher pulse rate than female. The next one is environment. So some kind of environment factor also it can affect the pulse rate. The next we will be move on to the blood pressure. So what is blood pressure? So blood means as we all know it is blood. Then pressure means some kind of force. So when blood is creating pressure to the arterial wall of the ventricle. As we all know, we are having two ventricle, right ventricle and left ventricle. So when blood will be creating pressure or some kind of force to the arterial wall of the ventricle, th that is called as blood pressure. So the normal value of the blood pressure is 80 
by 120 mm of Hg. So if it is go if it goes down below 80 by 120, we call it as hypotension. If it goes up above 80 by 120 mm of Hg, we call it as hypertension. Now there are a few sides of checking the blood pressure. First one is upper arm so as we all know in upper arm uh, brachial artery is situated so by the brachial artery we can check the blood pressure then the next one is forearm so in forearm we are having radial artery so by that radial artery we can check the blood pressure the next one is thigh so in the end of the thigh we will be having popliteal artery so by the using of popliteal artery we can check the blood pressure and at last leg so in leg we will be having two arteries first one is dorsal pedis and the second one is posterior tibia so by this by using of these two arteries we can check the blood pressure or we can measurement the blood pressure now factors affecting so, so there are some few factors which will affect the blood pressure these are age so if some person's age will be high or age will be above 50 or 60 their blood pressure also will be increased then gender of course male will be having high blood pressure rather than female then stress so if a person will be having some kind of stress or if a person is having having some kind of trauma then their blood pressure also may be decreased or sometimes it can also be increased then next one is respiration so what is respiration respiration means as we all know it is breathing so in a proper definition it is it is an act of breathing to inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide so what is the normal rate of respiration for an adult the proper rate of respiration is 16 to 24 breaths per minute so if it goes down below 16 we call it as trachypnea if it goes up above 24 we call it as bradycnea now how you can check the respiration rate of a patient so in order to check the respiration rate of a patient what you have to do you have to tell the patient to lie down or sit on the chair next you have to tell the patient to exhale and inhale so when the patient is inhaling and exhaling that you need to count so you need to count within one minute it means within 60 seconds you need to count how how many times the patient chest or the patient's abdomen it goes up that you need to count one 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 like that so within 60 seconds how many times the patient's abdomen or the how many times the patient chest will go up that you need to count within 60 seconds so this is all about respiration now next we will be saying what are the factors affecting the respiration so there are few factors which affect the respiration these are first one is age so if the age will be more than 60 or more than 50 of course the respiration rate will be little bit decreased so if a person is having stress then the respiration rate sometimes it can go up sometimes it can go down next is gender so of course male will be having higher rate or male will be having high respiration rate rather than female so after gender environment and altitude so this environment and altitude also these are the main two factors to affecting the respiration rate so this is all about the vital signs the temperature pulse respiration and blood pressure so by this i am going to conclude my topic if you have any doubt please comment down below thank you